Almost everyone has a special family tradition they follow for weddings of loved ones. Some may be special to your specific family or some may be cultural born. Looking into various forms of cultural traditions followed across the world, we can see the diversity revealed through the event of matrimony. From Mexico to Greece, Japan, and Ireland, the differences in cultural tradition through weddings shows just how much diversity and interesting traditions we hold across the globe. The cultural traditions I am personally most familiar with is Mexican marriage ceremony. Being previously married in a modern take on Mexico's traditional ceremony, I found myself in a bit of a cultural shock from what I already knew about Mexican culture. Mexican ceremonies had several special traditions they follow, most notable being their preference for the bride to wear a mantilla veil. There are many styles of dress which are commonly worn throughout the various Mexican states. The groom oftentimes wears a Mexican wedding dress. This tradition has been upheld for the last 200 years based off a story of a poor country bride and a groom in Mexico. Mariachi bands are often used at the ceremony and reception and oftentimes wear black attire with silver lining and occasionally wear a white attire with blue satin and white frills. Traditional spicy foods with chicken or beef are served at the reception along with sangria as a party drink. A ceremony tradition is the aria, which is a Roman Catholic custom where the bride and groom split the gold and silver in half to be kept as a sign of their devotion. This is a custom of the groom giving the bride 13 coins to represent his dedication to her in many areas of marriage. The night before the wedding, the path of the bride is lit by hand lanterns by the groom to find his way. This tradition is brought forward into modern times by lighting the aisle of the bride with overhead traditional style lanterns. Another classic ceremony tradition is the lasso, a lengthy strand of rosary beads which are wrapped about in a figure eight shape around the bride and groom after the vows are said to represent unity. This tradition is also sometimes conducted with a smaller strand of rosary beads around the bride and groom's wrists. In quite a bit of similarity to Mexican tradition, Greek traditions are also fairly festive. Greeks believe that you are married within the month of January or June, you will be in the favor of the Greek goddess Hera. Traditional veils worn were in yellow or red to represent fire to protect the bride from dark spirits, though many modern Greek weddings today wore white veils for purity. In the traditional weddings, the flowers carried by the bride are instead white to represent purity of the bride. At the reception, it is common for the bride and groom to give out kofeta, or Jordan sugar almonds, as party favors to represent a happy, sweet life in marriage. Much like in Mexico, Greece also follows a tradition of godparent sponsors. Grandest and most important tradition in Greece weddings would have to be the Stefana, or matrimonial crown, worn by the bride and are required by the church for ceremonies. The crown is blessed three times at the altar by the priest and then placed upon each of the bride and the groom's head followed by the crown being exchanged between the two three times. These crowns represent purity for both parties in the ceremony and it is a requirement of the Greek Orthodox Church in all ceremonies. In stark contrast to Mexico and Greece festivities, Japanese formal ceremonies are fairly private to only close family and a limited number of close friends in attendance. They are held at a Shinto shrine and hosted by a Shinto priest. The most common tradition in Shinto style ceremonies is the nuptial cups, known as San Sankudo. Consuming sake from these three different styles of cups by the bride and groom, as well as each set of parents. Commonly, when approaching and entering the ceremony shrine, the bride and groom will walk beneath a bangasa, which is a simple oil paper umbrella. The numerous rituals of Japanese Shinto traditions are so great and so diverse there are too many to list fully in a single presentation. After the wedding ceremony in the shrine, the bride typically wears a uchikata, which is a long flowing overcoat in bright floral colors with crane design across the fabric. Much like in common traditions of the United States, Irish traditions of rings being passed down from the mother is common. The Irish give the clada ring, named after a village in Western Ireland, given during engagement facing inwards and turning to face outwards after marriage, This ring must be given as a gift and never bought for oneself. A tradition of the groom in Ireland was common to lock the door of the church to prevent the groom from running away from the altar. The most common form of veil for the Irish wedding is made of Irish lace and follow the color scheme of white, gold, and green. Common dress for the male parties is an Irish wedding or formal dress kilts. Irish wear kilts 
at almost any event they can, but the most common is wedding ceremonies to show off their country and cultural pride. There are quite a few traditions of bagpipes, kilts, and large feasts with wedding toasts to follow the ceremony of bonding. Ireland has also created some wedding traditions that some might be more familiar with in the United States. The month of honey is a honeymoon period of the newly married couple by Irish tradition. During the time, the bride and groom celebrate by eating extravagant meals and drinking large amounts of honey mead from specialty made goblets. This is the coin tradition which born the honeymoon. A common toast given by the bride and groom at the wedding party and guests to initiate the toast at the reception. They recite this toast together with mead glasses raised high. Friends and relatives so fond and dear, tis our greatest pleasure to have you here. When many years this day has passed, fondest memories will always last. So we drink a cup of Irish mead and ask God's blessing in your hour of need. The guests then reply with, On this special day, our wish to you, the goodness of the old, the best of the new. God bless you both who drink this mead, may it always fill your every need. Comparing these various countries is easy to see how similar and how vastly different weddings across the world are. If you'd like to read more in depth about each of the countries I've supplied, quite a bit of information on each page for you to go back and mute the video and read through the information provided on other traditions of each country I have covered.